whenever I started this stuff, my first pole that stuck straight in the ground. So I thought if I needed to get up there, I'd use a ladder. In hindsight, that was not a very good way to go about it. If I need up there, I gotta climb this rickety ass ladder. You know, we're gonna get our gloves. Probably the funnest thing about this ladder is that all the coatings worn off of the fiberglass. So if you touch it with your skin, it's uh it's pretty rough, especially for me. I have an allergy to fiberglass. I think everybody has an allergy to fiberglass. But I seem to react more poorly than some. Whoa. Wobble, 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 wobble. Wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> I've been saying for a long time I'm going to come out here and start working on this uh, 400 and then I keep not because it's windy. Can you check that out? Lots of so all the grease from that bearing and down here you can look at the slip ring. This was originally the 500. Uh, somebody bought the 500 off of me which I, I did not sell it as a 500. I sold it as a much lower rating since that's all it was doing. Uh, but uh, you see the wear on the slip ring. I can't feel that through my glove. That's eh, mostly visual. But no denying the wear on that bearing. So we can get a little higher. I'm going to post this video however it comes out. I'm sorry that if uh, my camera is not aiming at anything interesting. I think it was pointed a little down here just a second ago. Basically what I was pointing out is there's some a little bit of wear on the slip ring. There is some corrosion on the stub there. It's not too bad. But it's not the kind of thing that I like to see. Uh, basically, whatever my uh, whenever the 500 got sold, I came up here to try and pull it down, and uh, I couldn't get these bolts to turn. They are right up against the tower in some places, and I remember having to kind of work at it just to get them on. So what I did is I pulled the nose and the, the stator off of it and I put the nose and the stator from that onto the uh, 400 body that I had in the, in the garage at the time. What we're going to do here is connect Watch me drop this. Can't put it in that pocket, that's got my parts. I'm just gonna connect it with wire nuts. I don't know how long I will leave this one up. I am half thinking that instead of trying to put up a new tower with every turbine I come, can come up with that I will be uh, I'll maybe move one of the other ones either the uh, the original 400 over to this one or maybe I'll put that 700 over here move the East Breeze I-1500 to that 20 foot tower or 25 foot tower that I've got going on I don't know yet. 
it's all contemplation basically I'm running out of room to put stuff on my shop Okay, those are in there. Let's push them around to the other side of the slip ring. Align the bolts a little bit. I'm just going to tap it just enough to kind of hold it in place because. I gotta climb back down to get the rotor and the nose cone. And then I'll make another trip down to get the blades. It's really not too bad so long as uh, take your time climbing. is definitely more wobbly than what is fun. Yeah. Uh, so one of my ideas was maybe to uh, Swap the um, the rotor out from the 500 to this 400 because that one had bigger magnets. And if I hadn't sold it, I probably would still do that. But after messing with this thing a little bit and seeing the way, is it like just now? It had a lot of grab to it. Oh, that's exciting. Things I should have done this with. Uh, drill. extension mentioned this before I don't like the way that these cases seal up I don't think that that o-ring is adequate but 
I'm like taking this one apart after it's been up here for, I'll put it up in November. Which means it's been up for nearly six months. I really didn't have a whole lot of uh, evidence of water or moisture in the case. A little bit of corrosion on the uh, on the slip ring stub. The, the bearing is uh, obviously going through more drama than the interior is going through. Which is a little surprising. A bearing is a pretty good sized bearing. I know that the weather is not super nice to these things in general. Wind and rain and ice can cause a lot of things to go bad that ought not to. But I did have better expectations for that bearing. Okay. All right. One more trip down. Probably two, I guess. Bring your rotor up. Kind of curious about my uh, my bolt I've got here or nut. <laughs> Actually, uh, lost the retaining nut for uh, that came with this thing. Damn. And it's uh. Not a common size. And to fish around, and luckily I have a Hyosung GT650R sitting in my, my shop because the uh, rear axle on that thing is just the right size. If I can get it to start. Might not be able to get it to start. done it baby <sighs> this part should have definitely been done with the drill too late now
Okay. Alright. I may wobble myself back up here later today and with a nose cone. Depends on what the wind does. Alright, well, it's officially 400 watt eBay turbine number two is up in the air. I will post an update if not later today maybe tomorrow or the next day we're supposed to be pretty windy uh, for most of the start of this week so we'll see what it does thanks for watching guys if y'all find this at all interesting please subscribe and get some updates from me have a wonderful day